Venezuelans have been attending polling stations throughout the day and our correspondent Brian Mir brings us the latest update from Caracas. The day is coming to a close here in the Petari neighborhood on the outskirts of Caracas, Venezuela. And one of the largest elections in the country's history is coming to a close. Over 70,000 candidates have run for 3,082 positions and shortly, probably by the end of the night, we're going to know who all of them are. There's going to be 23 newly elected governors, 335 mayors, and over 2,000 city councilors and state lawmakers. Now the day's gone by so far without any reports of violence. Uh, and the, the, there have been a couple reports of some voting centers that started late because of technical problems with the machines, but there have been no uh, confirmed allegations of any type of voter fraud to date at this moment. Uh, we don't know really what's going to happen yet in terms of exit polls. We do know that this is the first time since 2017 that the right-wing MUD coalition has entered the race. Will they gain any seats? Will they, will they lose? Will the fact that they supported the sanctions cause them to lose popularity? We're going to know all of this stuff by the end of the night. It's not like an election in the hypocritical United States of America, which accuses other countries of election fraud when two of their last four presidents lost the popular vote. And every state has its own completely different electoral system. This has had a smoothly running national plan. The votes are being tallied and it should be.